everyone, Andre here again with uh, with another um, uh, coaching tips. And today uh, with them, we're going to talk about the inning rounds. So talking about batting practice and how to make them effective, dealing with those key six principles that we've listed for you guys today. So Dom, like uh, like let's go through all of them here, and let's talk about number one and two here when we talk about number of pitches that sh that should be hit by the, by the kids and the importance of hitting strikes. What do you think about those? Well, uh, let's start with number one. The problem I find uh, when we go in the parks is uh, that the, the coach has sometimes has a hard time to throw strikes. And uh, what happens here is they tell the kids, okay, uh, Johnny, you're going for 10, 10 balls and you're, you're gone. But if the coach can play, throw only one strike, it's not beneficial for the kids. Yeah. So it's, it's very hard. So if you go with 10 and switch, it's not, I, I wouldn't think it's so a So are you saying here that uh, us as coaches, we need to become better at, at, at throwing. Absolutely, also, right? absolutely. Yeah, throwing strikes to them. Yeah. Well, the kids need to practice, so does the coach. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> the same thing. Yeah. Uh, that will take us to number two. Uh, if the coach tells the kids, okay, kid, you got to you got to swing on strikes, and then you go with a round of six, seven, eight, or whatever the number would be, but only on strikes, then that would be beneficial because it's going to get you close to the game. Uh, and I would go to if it's a strike and the kids don't swing, too bad. You exactly. just missed that one. And it's part. It's part of the game. It's also. Part of the game. That's Excellent. right. Talking about the the duration of the rounds here, we're talking about like short, short, short rounds. Absolutely. Uh, you want to be close to the game uh, as much as possible. So in a game, when you, you get in a bat, uh, the player will receive about seven, six or seven on average on seven throws. Uh, if you go with short run, he's going to swing maybe once or twice during the at-bat, sometimes a little bit more. But if you go in practice with a little round of five, uh, five to eight, depending on the, uh, the endurance of the player, the age of the player, uh, that would be beneficial. He's going to get good swing, five or eight strikes, of course. It keeps your focus there also. You know, like right. when you go higher, like 12, 15, like your focus is going elsewhere. And then by eight, five to eight or less rounds, uh, like pitches per round, I guess that your focus remains there as well. I would say Andre, if the focus is to at the end of batting practice that the kids get 15 uh, swings, uh, if you go three rounds of five you get your 15 and it's productive. Yeah. You, you can work with the numbers here but that's what I would do. How about game situation? How can we make sure that they're part of the of the rounds here? Definitely the game situations are very important. Uh, situational hitting, we're talking about uh, sacrifice bunting, hit and run, uh, moving the runner over from second to third, Infield in with a runner on third, infield deep with a runner on third, and even a squeeze, a suicide squeeze, Su suicide uh, bunt that you could do. Uh, include them in your batting rounds that will be beneficial so, too. So one round or two rounds where it should be important to include those situations because those situations will happen during the course during of the, the game. game. Okay, exactly. Right. So you, you want to practice like the way the game is being played. Absolutely. Like what about a free round? Free round is very important. The kids get in the batter's box. They don't have anything to think about other than a strike. Yeah. And they just take some swings and it's very good. Just for let the kids it go. To let, let it go. go. Just exactly. Let it go. And what about that bonus round? What do you want to do? Bonus with round. I love bonus round. So does the kid. Uh, always come with something funny. It could be, uh, okay, line drive, you're staying. Let's say you're going with two. We call it two plus. So the first one will be a free swing. In the second round, if it's a line drive, you stay there until I say until you die, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it could be any kind of games. It could be just a base hit. It could be uh, hitting on off the um, L screen. On the grass. Anything. Whatever you... Uh, 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 creative, be creative That's as much right. as you can be here. And you can you can create competition between them, right? Oh, the absolutely. Also, yeah. So if you got three groups of four, so when the first group is coming, all those four kids are, uh, are working together uh, against the other teams, or they're working separately. It could be. It's a fun way to end the batting practice. Absolutely, have so, fun. So six key principles to keep in mind when when building your hitting rounds, so kids are getting um, more out of it, and the experience is positive and getting closer to the uh, reality of the game at the same time. That's there right. There you have it. See you next time.